What are you going to tell Susan? That I'm with Bree, right? Oh, God, stop! Stop, stop, Just stop ah. doing that, come on! <gasps> Zeke, thank you so much, I love this movie! Yeah, I kind of noticed. Oh, uh, did I make it too obvious that I wanted it? You mean when you said, Zeke, you gotta get me Mean Girls? Oh, I feel so spoiled. First Karch's necklace and now this. Well, there's, um, there's one more to go. This is, uh, this is from me and your dad. How? We picked it out a while ago. He, he wanted to get you something extra special. Well, come on, open it. I, I want to see what it is. There's one charm for every year of your life so far. And he wants you to pick one each year till you turn 21. Your dad chose all of them. He said there was a, a special meaning behind every one. That, that one, that's for your first year. <laughs> for Rupert Bear. Oh, I loved him. And that's your second, and that's your third. Yeah. Apparently when I was two, I woke up really early on Valentine's Day and raided Mum's chocolates. <laughs> <laughs> when I was three, I wouldn't go anywhere without my gum boots on. Hey, look, there's a horse. Remember that time you fell off and broke your arm? He wanted you to know that, that he's always with you. Can I help you put it on? There. It's beautiful. I love it. Happy birthday, sweetheart. Please? Oh, yeah, cool. Cool. Um, I'll see you later. Yeah, and we don't We've want decided to... not to see each other anymore. Um, d did he break up with you because of us? Sit down about that. Has Kasha gone for a run or something last night? Where are you going? To Stingray, to see if he'll take me to the hospital. I'll take you. No, I want to go with him. I don't even think he's there. I think he's at the school. At the school? What's he doing? Did you hear about Karchi's... Oh, Rachel, good morning. You'll be pleased to hear that Karchi's going to be reassessed after lunch. Then we should be able to discharge him. Rachel. Is Tiff? Oh. I've learned to take a pinch of salt with everything you say. Oh, Rachel. Can... I'm going now. I said I'd move back in until Karchi was safe and sound. Now she is. Stingray! Stingray! Whoa! I think you'll find him at number 30. Okay, thanks. Um, Rachel, please don't come. I just don't know what to do. I don't belong at Susan's place and I'm not welcome at yours either. Yeah, but Lily's just trying to be loyal to her best mate. And look, you say you don't fit in at home, but maybe that's just all in your head. Oh, you are a suck and a half, you know that? How can you choose the old of your own girlfriend? I'm not. I just... I just want Rach to be happy. Oh, what a crying. He could have snuck back in and foot. Why would he do that? Because that's what people who are having a not-so-secret secret affair do, Stingray. Oh, yeah, you should know. I'm going. No, you're not. Take that back to your room and unpack it now. You can't talk to me like that. Hey, I don't blame you. I mean, hey, it's a better option than the broom cupboard, even with Wicked Stepmother. It wasn't what I was thinking. Ooh, Rachel loves Susan. Rachel is homesick. It's not my home. She's not my mother. And if you don't stop defending her, you won't be my boyfriend. Yeah, sure. Burn me like you burn everyone else that you care about. <sighs> Rachel, look, oh, I was joking, okay? Look, I know how tough this is. No, for it's you. fine. If you have to be black. Yes, Mum. Have you ever seen a blonde go so harder? But you're scaring the little kids. Dogs howl when you walk down the street. Good. Oh, my God. What? Look! Oh, not this mob again. We moved through three different caravan parks and they still managed to track us down to Flobbers Rubbish. What? Is it not true? Doofus. It's a con. Jeez, born yesterday, were you? Oh, come on, let's leave the boat for chat. <clears throat> I hate Rach. 
You know how you've been dropping hints at Scotty? Is this about wanting to be like older couples? Oh, look, we're roomies now. We can talk about this sort of stuff. So I'd be right in thinking that you kind of want to be more like, say, me and Boyd? Maybe. Kind of. So more romantic, more physical? Yeah, I guess so. But you can't just come right out and say it, can you? Because it's too embarrassing. It's just everyone assumed that I'm a, a baby. I think you're a lot more mature than I was when I was your age. No, you don't. Hey, I thought that being in a proper relationship meant that people would like me more. And did it? <laughs> yeah, right. I wish I'd done what you're doing, just waited. Really? I do feel young compared to you guys. Sometimes it makes me wonder why Stingray's even interested in me. Oh, because he is crazy about you. Anybody can see that. Look, just promise me that you're not going to rush into anything that you're not ready for. Don't put stupid pressure on yourself. And don't think for one second that you have to live your life like anybody else because you don't. Your life is your own. Ugh. Well, listen to me, hey? The voice of experience. No, I think it's what I needed to hear. Morning. Ah, you. Can you put these in your room, please? Mm, might as well. Not going anywhere else now, am I? Can you hear yourself? What? Susan's being nice to you, but all you can do is sulk like you always do. No, I don't. Not always. I'm sorry, but you do. You know, all these people who love you. But it doesn't matter, does it? Because we're not stingray. It's all right, Sue. Susan could have given you a million lectures by now, but she didn't. She probably loves you more than anyone else in the world. Apart from you. Not right now, I don't. You know, and Kasha got home from the hospital last night. She doesn't even care. She doesn't care about anyone except for herself. Yes, I do! And I'm sorry, I really am. Oh, sweetheart. It's okay, come on. I'm just happy to have you back. I've missed you so much. I've missed you too. Is Katja okay? Yeah, she's getting there. What about coffee and cake, my shout? I don't think I can go out. Why not? Can you see it? See what? My moustache. What moustache? Are you blind? Everyone else in the world's been staring at us. 